Chris, I really appreciate the special inside look you're giving me. I'm gonna be a NASA insider just by proxy. I have a treat for you today. Yes. Ken Miller, who's the battalion chief for Cape Canaveral Spaceport, is gonna give us an inside and outside look at all things M113. Which is perfect because I brought my driver's license and I should be able to handle anything they throw at me. Uh, your driver's license won't be good here. What, is there a height requirement or something? Let's go check it out. All right, yes, we're gonna go check it out. Maybe I'll drive. The M113 is used for uh, the pad rescue time team to uh, extract flight crew members, close up crew members, or final inspection team members during a launch flow. We have four. We utilize uh, all four during launch. Oh, wow. Now, this is, this is a pretty old vehicle, is it? Yes, it was first developed in the 1960s. It was approximately 80,000 of them produced. Wow. How long would it take me, if I were going through the course, to become proficient uh, in driving something like this? Less than 15 minutes. Hey, oh, they left the keys. This is perfect. I got... Uh, how... Perfect. Yeah, we'll get this thing started. Per... Uh, dude. Oh, come on. I can't... Uh... Now, typically, we have uh, each, each flight crew that comes through through a launch flow. We'll get uh, driver's training on the, uh, on the M113s, and then each crew member has an opportunity to... Uh, drive it. Okay, so each astronaut has to be fully uh, uh, clear to drive uh, the vehicle. Exactly. Okay. Pad team, rescue team will usually enter the, uh, will enter the uh, M113 when we start the team minus nine minutes and counting right. during a launch. And we'll have seven people in this hard top with full gear and oh, uh, they were also on air. But cool suits too? I mean, they... No, they're not cool suits. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might they're be cool around. in terms of fashion. Fa fa fashion. <laughs> but they're just not cool in terms Fashionable of... Fashionable is still a question. Yeah. Oh. And they uh, get plenty, uh, of, plenty of liquids to drink that keep them hydrated? Or? Uh, we usually hydrate uh, usually a day or two prior to we start hydrating. There's, there's four different scenarios. They're called modes. Mm -hmm. You have mode one, mode two, mode three, mode four. Mode one, mode three are flight crew members only. Mode one would be for uh, self egress of the flight crew, so they actually get out of the ship themselves. Oh, and they, they travel down the, the they basket? Would, they would self egress by okay. the direction of the NASA test director. Right. They would uh, exit the, the ship, go to the slideware basket, release the baskets, and go to the slideware termination area. Okay. okay. We have one of these positioned at the bunker in case the NTD oh, okay. directs them to exit the pad area. Right. They've been trained to drive the hardtops and then they can egress the, uh, the pad area. Perfect. Okay, wonderful. So, now, is it usually the uh, the commander or the pilot usually in charge of, of, riding, of driving this in case of an egress, or is it? Of course, the flight crew themselves. The flight crew, themselves. The, flight crew the, the commander will usually designate someone okay. Okay. to do that. And of course, they'll, they'll be in communication with the NASA test director also to where they need to go and, and, and which direction they need to go. So he probably sits there and evaluates their scores when they were uh, doing the testing, and if you did poorly, you're not you're not driving. Well, I think it's more of a mental score. Oh, yeah, I think, and, and you're correct. I think I think he, he, he makes notes of, uh, of the different proficiency in the driving. So I might say all the, all the flight crew members do extremely well. watching any at the M113. An inside and outside look at all things M113. Eat whether or not your driver qualified. Absolutely. <laughs> Let's roll. Yeah.